Hi, I'm Christine McKay. Welcome to My Craft Studio. Today we have another top blogger with us. This is Miss Nadine. Now, tell me the name of your blog. The Material Girls Quilts Blogspot com. Okay, so you have to check this out. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that you love to blog about because we were talking off camera and you were saying, you know, obviously you own a quilt shop and material and stuff, but you blog about a lot of things. I blog about my kids, my daily life, my messiness, my big messiness, um, just crafts I do, things we do at the shop, everything. So just a creative approach to just living in general. Yeah. So I have to tell you, like when you walked in with this, like I was dying because Halloween is by far my favorite holiday. And this is like perfect. I cannot wait. This is one project I am going to go home and make. I love this. So easy. So tell me a little bit about, okay, can I just ask you where your mind was when you thought about doing this? Well, I saw this in a shop in Oregon last year and thought I got to remember to do that, but I didn't take a picture. And so, then my friend said, remember that chair thing? And there was a chair in the shop that we were in. Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, I got to do those legs. So here they are. Here they are. So let's break it down a little bit to like the components that we'll need okay. to make this. So I start out with an umbrella and I got it at the dollar store. I was just going to ask you because cleared out my dollar store by me with the dollar black ones. Okay, there's going to be a run so on dollar stores. I just snip off the handle so it's okay. out of the way and then and did um, you just use like wire cutters for I that? I just use my kitchen scissors. Okay you can which, do that. Yeah so then I just take cuts of probably about a yard cut of the different um, tools orange and black. I could have put purple in here too but my daughter had the purple so. <laughs> No, I think this looks I great. I do thread a ribbon through the top so that I can hang it off. Oh, I see, right here, okay. And just use a big fat eyed needle and it's just like the eighth inch ribbon. So these right here, these are just strips that you mm -hmm. tie in the center. And I love this because you've actually just hot glued that all I've the way around. Uh, if I can hot glue, even though I sew, I'm a gluer. You know what, I shouldn't even say this on camera, but um, my kitchen table is repaired with a glue gun. One of these days it's going to crash to the floor. I love that because <laughs> I hem my husband's pants with tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love this. I love it already. So hot glue with these strips all the way around. All okay. the way around. And then I picked up a pair of tights. Just, they're everywhere right now for the And they're so inexpensive. Yeah, they're like three bucks. And then you can wait until the day after Halloween for next year and get them oh, for yeah. like 79 cents. And then I just stuffed them. I sent my daughter to get these. I got them at Savers, the shoes. And I probably should have stuffed her toe with it. Oh, I think these are great. And so I just stuff her legs as big or as small as you want. Hot glue the boot in, but you're going to have to really hot glue it in okay. there for fear that it will drop. Okay. And then um, you would just go all the way around and then I didn't glue that one. <laughs> <laughs> Put that back in there. So then you would just figure out where she's going to hang from and where okay. you want her legs as far as Gosh. height wise. And then I glued a feather boa around it. And then on this one right here, I embellished um, her with a little spider and I embellished her shoes. And I hung her out on my basketball hoop today so I could take pictures and people went crazy. Oh, over. I'm sure people were stopping in front yeah, of your house Yeah, my neighbors were like, pictures. I want one of those. And so. It really is just a quick and easy project one oh, that yeah. you could do with your kids or not. Or not. <laughs> or not. I love it. Well, I'm glad. It was way fun. Super, super easy. And you should do it. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna do a little game here that we call Rapid Fire. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay, who is your celebrity crush? And don't say you don't have one. Okay, I do. Okay, good. Last year on Facebook, I used his name more than my husband's, Donny Osmond. Oh my gosh! He, I love him. He was my imaginary friend when I was little. The problem was my name was Marie, so it, it, was, it didn't he work He was my out. imaginary yeah. husband. Sometimes oh, he still is. We're bonding. I used to tell my son, who's 19, if, I don't, if I'm not here when you get home from school, Donny came to get me. I know, my husband's like, really? I cannot believe you're saying that, so. Okay, I love that it's one. It's out, it's I out love and it. open. Okay, name name your favorite treat that you know you're not supposed to have, but you just you just love it. Well, caramel corn. Oh. Gooey, sticky caramel corn. That's the best. And chocolate. Okay, here's, here's one, another one. What is your biggest pet peeve? Lateness. Oh, our bonding session's over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm always kidding. really prompt, and my husband is always a half hour late. 
we, we, you know, I, have you got? Have you learned now? You just lie. You just tell them that it's like fifteen minutes earlier than no, it is. No, I just complain. Oh, yeah, that's that's easier. I'm like, it's rude. It's disrespectful. Yeah. So my daughter's very prompt. My son's very late. Okay. All right. So I love it. Tell me again the name, or tell our viewers actually the name of your it's site. It's TheMaterialGirlsQuilts.blogspot.com. And you can get, and I'm assuming this is on there. It's so. not on there yet. I didn't know if we could, put, if I'd have it on yep. there yet. Yep. So, so, so probably by the time our viewers, there. it'll be yeah. on there. You can take a closer look at it. Um, anyway, thank you so much thank for stopping you. by. Thank you so much. All right. You can join us next time on My Craft Studio.